hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel um i hope you all are doing well so in this video we'll learn how to solve the shell init files variables and expansion project so guys remember that the um, aim of this of our tutorial is not just to have the checkers checked but it's to understand what we are doing so we don't end up copying and pasting so follow me as we go along so for this week we have the shell init files variable and expansion project and what we expected to read is the expansion shell arithmetic variables shell initial file the alias command technical writing and what we what they expect what they expect us to understand and be able to use are this command the print and the set on set export alias on alias dot source printf so without further ado let's just get into the um project so but we need to answer this quiz before the project can open up so the first one is um what is the variable name who contains the previous working directory so what's <laughs> i wanted to guess the answer what the answer will be so here we, are, we have old dir we have old pwd we have previous dir previous pwd so remember that um working directory part to All if right. you want to change directory to the, if you want to know the directory you are working from or you want to print the directory you are currently working from you make use of the pwd command so i would guess that old pwd is the answer for this so i will check it scroll down so the next one is um which command should i use to display the exit code of the previous code okay so for this um command uh next week hopefully i will schedule a live session where we'll go through shell scripting properly so but for for here if you want if you want to display the um what is it called the exit code if you are displaying the exit code you make use of echo dollar and this question mark this will display the exit code so the code in the basic code in in programming is zero one so when displays uh zero means it's correct displays one means it's wrong so let me well i'll i'll, I'll showcase that soon so the next one is um what command should i use to display a variable name now here export is not ls is not a chain directory echo now if you want to print if you want to print um a content on the console you make use of echo right so meaning um to display a variable now this dollar sign my var is this dollar sign here is a placeholder is what is holding the what's it called the variable so your let's say you declare a variable and say my var is equal to alu then if you want to print alu you just reference the var and how do you reference a variable you make use of the dollar sign so i suppose this is it and here they said which command should i use to define a new command push for pushing on github now so there is this um sometimes you have long commands for example the, in the previous in the previous project there was this task they gave us to display something something where you have to write find dot dash type file dash name is equal to asterisk dot key then in a in a um, back sign say reverse you are reversing it and then in another back sign you are cutting dash t then dot and all those those things are long right so let's say you want to create your own that you could just once you call on once you call on once you call on it, it refers to that same command. You make use of aliases. So aliases is what we, we make use of in creating our own command. So here you are saying which command should I use to define a new command? So if you want to define a new command, you just make use of aliases. So here we say aliases push is equal to git push now. Now when you make when, when so instead of typing git push, you just make use of push, it will go. So with this, let's see, submit. Okay, we are good. So the quiz is gone, right? So now tag zero. 